Good morning, everybody. You are currently listening to A Tall Girl's podcast hosted by a tall girl named India. I hope that everyone listening today is having a fantastic day, week, month, year, life, whatever it may be. Before I get into this episode, make sure you are following me on my socials at a tall girls podcast on instagram tiktok and pinterest so that you can stay up to date on the latest podcast episodes and even check out some awesome relatable super hilarious tall girl content and you know even hit me up i know some of y'all have messaged me and i have yet to get back to you i am so sorry but trust I will with a capital T trust soon. Okay. School has been crazy. It's exam season. I was literally at the library last night. And when I tell you, I'm hearing these conversations and these people are like, yeah, when are you, how long are you staying at the library? And he's like, yeah, you know, till it closes, which is at 11. And some are like, yeah, I'm staying till nine. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like I go to this I go to school in the city, so it's quite a ride to get out there from where I live in the suburbs in Queens. And I can only imagine that some of these people have basically the same commute as me. You're going to be taking that commute at 11 p.m. at night on a weekend. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) But hey, we have to do what we have to do because, you know, we got to get this degree. It's not going to last forever, so might as well just put the work in now. But I am getting off track make sure you're following me on my socials will be linked below so it's easier for you and below that you'll also see a link to leave me a review make sure you leave me a review let me know how tall you are i'm genuinely curious all right today we're going to be talking about self-comparison and comparing yourself to other people okay it's cuffing season people we are currently in november the weather you know the weather has been really strange for the past couple of days slash weeks it's literally been in the 60s and 70s like that's very unseasonal in new york in november like i'm i was ready for 30 degree weather freezing my butt off type stuff but i was able to wear just a t-shirt outside for the past couple of days it's kind of scary however this coming week it's going to be really cold like in the 30s and 40s cold november type cold i'm i'm still not prepared for that but it is what it is but once the weather starts getting cold like that it's officially cuffing season and self-comparison is on the rise partially because of it now you're probably like girl what does cuffing season even have to do with self-comparison first of all did i do you guys even know what cuffing season is i hope so Well, if you don't, cuffing season is basically where everybody's getting into a relationship, especially around holiday time and when it's cold and it's like, uh. (laughs) but I mean, you see some girl or some guy with their man or woman or partner and you're just like, damn, I wish I was in a relationship, you know, but it just doesn't stop there. You know, you start picking out certain pieces like oh she's shorter than me or and she doesn't look as intimidating as me or oh his style is so much better than mine why do they have nicer hair than me oh that's starting to sound a little bit specific but yeah partially i'm speaking from prior experience from you know over the years but it's just so easy to get sucked into the cycle of self-comparison. I think that's going to be the, st- the title, cycle of self-comparison. You know, at first you're like, all good. Yeah, you're confident in yourself, blah, blah, blah. And then next thing you know, it just starts with genuine admiration of another person. And then you start noticing different traits or features that they have that you really like, but you don't have. And then you start asking yourself, Why them and not me? Why do they have this life, but I don't? Why do they have those friends, but I don't? Why do they have those features and traits, but I don't? And then, you know, you knock some sense into yourself. and like, I need to stop worrying about this. And you're completely fine. And then it starts all over again. Genuine admiration, noticing traits that you don't have. And then you're like, why them, not me? And it just goes on and on. And it occurs over and over again. And I'm not going to lie because 
I have some experience with this. I used to do a lot. Of, honestly, I still do. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm not even going to say, yeah, I used to compare myself so, to others so often, but now I don't. Like, I still do. It's just way less than it was before, I think god but i still do a little bit and it can honestly be draining and it really just screws up your self-esteem it really makes you wonder sometimes you know why do we do that to ourselves why do we... it's almost like self-sabotaging behavior When you compare yourself to other people, because if you think about it, you have, you do have control over it. You do have control over your thoughts. You just need to take control of them. You are in complete control. Your brain doesn't control you. You control your brain. And it's almost like you're allowing yourself to fall into a deep hole. That cycle of self-comparison. And that's kind of the self-sabotaging behavior and it's like why do we do that to ourselves i personally think because we are selfish (laughs) that doesn't make sense you know like you're putting everybody else on a pedestal and you're bringing yourself down because you're selfish well we want to see how we compare to other people are they better than us are we better than them um are we more attractive are they more attractive you know it's it's like that you know we want to know we want to see if we're better than them if we're more of a certain trait or a certain feature than them and let me tell you that is so freaking toxic <laughs> we should honestly acknowledge our strengths and weaknesses for what our for what it is and acknowledge other people's strengths and weaknesses for what it is but it's at this point human nature to compete with each other (laughs) who can be at the top but honestly we are here to break this toxic cycle with four simple tips starting with setting boundaries and i'm not just talking about toxic people like yes it's important to set boundaries with toxic people like cut them off right away but if it's somebody that you live with or in the same class as you and you can't avoid them wholeheartedly completely then try to just distance yourself as much as possible from them because there are people who outright compare you to them or compare you to other people and that leads you to compare yourself because they're comparing you and because you spend so much time around them you know their thoughts kind of starts becoming your thoughts and their speech starts becoming your speech so yes set boundaries with toxic people but i'm also talking about social media okay yeah you the one with the hyper instagram tiktok thumb okay i'm referring to you i'm talking to you there are so many fake people on social media who share videos and images of themselves or their lives and it's so easy after a while to after seeing these videos and images to be like oh my gosh why can't i have his life or why can't i have as many friends as her and it's really important to understand that yes okay like people people have fun and people share it on social media and stuff like that but chances are it's just one of those very few good days that any human being on this planet can have and they just decided to capture it and post it on social media they may not capture the bad days they may not capture the lonely days they may not capture the hard working days they just capture the good fun days and post it on social media and you know when all of that is on your feed and that's all that's on your feed you start to believe that this is genuinely people's lives and trust me it's not so it doesn't hurt to take a day or two off from social media at all okay even i do it on sundays especially Sunday is a good day to take a day off from social media. Okay. So if, to, if you're listening to this on a Sunday, if this is a Sunday, um, I want you to take the day off from social media. Well, right after you follow me, after you follow me, then take the day off from social media and come back to it tomorrow on Monday. 
Next, be creative. Start exploring what works for you and brings the best out of you. Take yourself on a solo date. Get to know yourself better. Get to know what you like, what you don't like. Try out new clothes. Pick up a new hobby. Embark in something you really enjoy. Just something. Something new. Something that can make you appreciate your uniqueness because you know there's only one you and if if you pick up something that is unique to you but not unique to the other person you start to appreciate like wow like yeah even though you know she has hair that's all the way down to the floor like i could play the banjo and nobody else can so that's pretty cool and next thing you know you are just so obsessed with yourself that you forget about the world around you and honestly we love self-obsession Three, talk nicely to yourself. I can understand that it's weird to just look yourself in the mirror, make that eye contact with yourself and be like, I'm so pretty, I'm so smart. But girl, trust me when I say that over time it works and we gotta do what we gotta do for our mental health. And lastly, I just want you to remember what I'm about to say, what I'm about to tell you. You are you, and they are them. They are not you, and you are not them. You understand that science? You cannot compare yourself and your life to theirs because you don't have their life. You have your life, and it's time to start appreciating it, okay? There are so many unique talents and features and attributes to you that you have to offer the entire world that I can 1 million percent guarantee that other people see and wish that they had, but they don't even dare tell you about it. There's so much about you that other people notice and love and admire that you don't even notice and you're not even aware that they notice on a regular basis. If you could just show yourself half of the admiration and energy and respect that you show to other people, that you give to other people, I am telling you, your entire world and perspective of yourself and even others will change drastically. And that's only half of what you're giving others. Imagine 100%. And that's your assignment for you to find out. That's your assignment for you to find out, okay? I'm giving that to you. I'm giving you homework. Yes, I'm your teacher for the day. I'm giving you an assignment. Even if you're listening to this and you're no longer in school, so you don't have assignments anymore, you have an assignment to give yourself 100% of the energy and admiration and respect that you're giving other people. And I'm rooting for you. I I believe in you, okay? And I know that you are going to take care of yourself because you're going to take my advice because my advice is good advice. Let me stop. (laughs) You have the capability to do whatever the heck you want in life, okay? Now, we just need you to believe in you. Just something to think about over the next couple of days. And honestly, that's something that I need to think about over the next couple of days because i did say before that i am guilty of comparing myself to others a little bit and that actually happened pretty recently this past week because as you know i am officially on campus um for the first semester in college what for the first for the first time ever, it's not my first semester, I'm not a freshman, I'm a junior, but for the first time ever, I'm officially on a college campus for classes. For the first two years, I was completely online. And something that I'm really noticing, I don't even know if I mentioned this in the previous episode, if I mentioned this before, but when you are alone and you isolate yourself, it is so easy to well after the first period where you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm so lonely, yada yada yada. But after that period, It's so easy to just be happy with yourself and feel good about yourself and tell yourself that you're beautiful and be confident in yourself and yada, yada, yada. Because you're not really around other people. 
you're not comparing yourself to other people. You have no one to compare yourself to because you are alone, because you are isolating yourself. And no one talks about how easy it is to genuinely be happy when you're by yourself. Oh my God. I'm not saying don't surround yourself with people, okay? We are social creatures. It's really good to surround yourself with other people. It's therapeutic. But we tend to spend too much time around other people and don't take too much time for ourselves. So when we get into ourselves, in that self-isolation period, it can honestly feel really good. And that's where I was at. It was like two and a half years I was not surrounded by a lot of people. It was really just my close friends and my immediately family members. So, and these are people that I've been around for so many years. So I have no problem being myself around them and just feeling fine with myself because they accept me for who I am. Because, you know, we've been around each other for so long and we continue to stay around each other for so long. So it's ultimately the idea that they are accepting of me. I'm accepting of me. And being by myself, I've learned to accept myself for the most part. But when you step outside and you start surrounding yourself with a lot of other people especially people that you don't know and you're almost craving that social validation because like i said before we are social creatures and you know we want to make friends we want to meet new people we want to talk to people interact with them it's so easy to compare yourself to other people when there's so many other people around you that you don't know And it's almost like it's something new, something not rare, but it's something you're not used to. And because of that, you start to admire other people because it's new, it's fresh, it's different. You haven't experienced it before. It's just like, wow, that's so cool. That person is so cool. They're so cool. They're so awesome. Why don't they want to talk to me? Why are they better than me in this aspect? And I just think that it's really important for me to just stray away from that because I've been doing that for the past couple of days and just start to realize that I am my own unique human being. There are things about me that they don't know and there are things about me that are completely different, totally unique from them that they don't have experience with, they have never done before, they just aren't physically, mentally, et cetera, et cetera. And I just think that I needed this episode as a reminder for myself too that it's really not that deep. We're literally on a floating rock. Why do I care about what pair of pants that Tanya is wearing, even though I am low-key jealous that her pants can reach her ankles and mine are just like there. I mean, I have pants that reach my ankles. I did a whole episode on that, by the way. You should check that out. But, you know, Tanya is 5'2 and I'm 5'10 and a half. So I like my long legs, even though they're annoying. So I just think that I wanted to bring that up, that it's so easy that when you isolate yourself and you don't really have too many too many people around to compare yourself to and you're around people who are loving and accepting of you, that it's so easy to love yourself and be happy with yourself. But if you're around peop- so many people that are new to you and don't know who you are and quite frankly don't really care about you, as harsh as that sounds, they just don't know you. So obviously they're not going to care about you right off the bat then it's so easy to compare yourself to others. But we're out here trying to break this self-sabotaging behavior and we are rooting for ourselves. We believe in us and we have the capability to do whatever the heck we want and we're going to believe in ourselves. So yeah. Anyways, this was pretty long. I got pretty long-winded towards the end. Um, But if you stuck around, up to this point you're literally so awesome thank you so much you are truly amazing hit me up on my socials at a tall girls podcast on instagram tiktok and pinterest and let me know that you actually stayed to the end and what you think of this episode and what you think of this podcast and how you're doing in life like how's school going how's work going how's getting rid of that toxic friend or family member going how's being tall going let me know how being tall is going because for me girl (laughs) I'm struggling a little bit, but it's okay. We all have our ups and downs. Um, Also, leave a review. 
that will also be linked below underneath all my socials and just a reminder you're enough you're awesome you're amazing and you are honestly one of the best people i have ever met in my entire life even though i have not physically may have not physically met you yet you're awesome i'm gonna end it here i'll catch you in the next one good night and goodbye